Hello fellow crafters and welcome back to Creating Colonies. Well, as you can see I've been doing a little bit of work people. A little bit of work. Because we are going to do a tree farm today. Somewhat of a minecart contraption. So as you can see I've cut most of the crap out. I say most. We do still have some to deal with. I want to do a contraption with the minecart furnace, with the powered rails that will actually take the minecart along here. Now I'm going to put a lever on here to activate the start because I would like to start and stop it whenever I do necessary. So I want to put the tracks all the way along here. We do need a cart assembler, which we will get momentarily. So what it's going to do, it's going to come all the way up here. It is going to have saws attached to it. And we do seem to be too short, but I can sort that out, people. It's going to have this minecart furnace attached to it. Now, I think that will probably go on its own. And we don't even need a cart with furnace, guys. I don't even know what I was thinking of. So, we shall just change that into a normal mine cart. I need to go and get another couple of powered rails done. And get the cart assembler that we need. Friends, I think there's a creeper. Ha ha! Catching you. My dude, no, no, I don't want your help, creep. I don't want your help. Thanks for the sulfur. Right, so, cart assembler. I do have my other rails. The cart assembler is going to go there. And that will help us to make a cart contraption, even though I do still have the furnace in hand, which means we don't actually need powered rails at all. Let me bleeding go and change this over. What a palaver. I really should light this thing up and maybe I won't get too distracted. Now I've forgotten my glue, guys. Right, so first things first. I am going to just pop that on there. And I want to take my linear chassis. And I'm going to run that from here. All the way across here. And I'm going to put them the wrong way around. Because misplacing blocks is part of the fun, isn't it? Mm. I thought the same. So if we go up to about there. What I do want to do. I need to move them back a little bit. In fact, no, I don't. I can get those saws in front. I do have saws. And what we're going to do here is put a saw there. We're going to put a saw there. We need two here for the dark oak. That's if I can get in, peeps. It's trying to stop me getting in. Like there and one there. I would like my deployers. See, now I'm thinking, because I do want the deployers. Sort of like on this level. And I don't know if it's going to work and I don't know if it's not going to work. But I have been doing a bit of YouTube trawling and I've got a few ideas. But you know how it works, guys. You've got to do it for yourself to actually find out whether it does or not. Right, now we've got that there. And they're all lined up so when it's coming back it'll get those as well. I am also going to put some deployers. I think it's only five we need. And we are going to put them facing down here. 
and then we need a bit of storage so i'm going to put that in between gaps then we're going to glue it together and we're going to see if it's going to work mm, let me go and get some glue and i'll be back with a contraption that's ready for testing right friends so that is our farm thus far now it does seem to be working and I did put these down to avoid planting the saplings. Now, I haven't put saplings in, so it isn't going to replant. And I'm just wondering why I've got a big gap here. Unless that's something that I've done personally. But as you can see, it is like taking them all down. I still need to add chests. So and that'll go all the way back now. And if there was trees in the way, I'm assuming that it would, like, cut them down also. But I like that, and it's pretty fast also. I just have the, uh... I do need to put a block there. But I just have the daunting task now of replanting everything. And adding a few chests on. And then filling them with saplings and seeing where we go from there. But it is looking pretty promising so far. And quite clear. So friends, to keep you a little bit updated on what I have done. I've actually put these copycat layers here. And I have gone over them with a bit of the cracked dirt bricks like this. So hopefully this prevents my deployers from actually putting saplings into these parts of the dirt because I do want it to be made out of dirt. So I do have a few more bits and bats to go but it is looking very promising. We have all the saplings in. I need to go and make some more copycat layers which is basically just a zinc into your stone cutter and that is if you have the copycats plus mod in your pack so i'm just going to finish this i still need to do my chests and hopefully we will then have something that more resembles an automatic working tree farm oh friends i'm so excited i've never done this before <laughs> Well, would you lucky who I found? Can't help themselves, can they? They're jealous, guys, and they're trying to get me inventions. Well, I think I'll just let them have a little bit of fun over there with my contraption. And hopefully, step in the lava area. We're coming over here. So I think I've got it literally set up now. I've put saplings in the chest. I've put quite a few chests on and there's one here that I do eventually want to be hooked up to some inventory thing. I can't remember the name of it, friends, but I'm sure you would know. So it looks like everything is pretty set. I've added an extra layer on here for the jungle saplings. And what we're going to do to get it going, which is the only thing we can do at the moment, until I set something more substantial up I hope them chests are actually attached I did put glue behind them right. mm. it seems that I've got to glue a deployer on peeps we'll just wait for it to come back and I'm going to put a stopper there But it does seem to be taking them down. We're not getting any more up right, so it is. So it must have been out. So if it's out of the saplings, it's not going to plant them. But it does seem to be going over these copycat layers okay. And I, my friends... Oh, look at that. Acacia and Oak all grown together. And back it comes. Right, so when it stops, hello, no, dude, you meant to stop, 
Oh, friends got issues. Right, so I'll just put that there then. That might be the smart thing to do. So let's wait for it to come back. And obviously fall off the track. Let me go with my backpack, friends. That is where I keep my super glue, by the way. Just so you know. I am going to take my wrench. Don't make me sleep yet. I'm just going to pick that up. And I'm going to place it back where it belongs. This way. And if we jump over that. I take my glue. And I actually glue this onto my contraption. Yeah, I thought I might jump right over where I need to be. Uh, that does not look like glue. If I just swap my contraption out for my glue, probably. You know what I mean, guys. I'm, I meant sapling. Words are hard. Words are always hard when you're recording. Right, so where is my... If you've pinched my glue... Oh, friends, it's pinched my glue. Would a slime ball work? I think I've got some slime balls. Yeah, I mean, those dudes are still messing about there, so I'm, it's like I said, I'm just going to leave them to it. Right, we have a slime ball. We only have one. That's nice. But then again, the village did give it to me, so I can't grumble too much, can I? Right, so let me get rid of that. Slime that. Put the deployer on there. Change it so it's going down. Right, that is definitely, definitely ready to rock and ready to roll. So let me put that into one of the chests. I'm going to put my slime ball into my backpack. And we're going to try this again. Right, so if we are ready to rock and if we are ready to grumble... Mm. Well, it seems like it doesn't actually want to be glued to my contraption, does it? Ah, oh, well, friends, what can you do? But that is actually my tree farm that works quite well. Let's have a little look at where it's putting all the wood. Look at all this already. Lots of dark oak, lots of oak. Do you know what? I think I'm pretty happy with that. And as short as this video is, I... I'm going to leave you there because next time we come on, I'm going to be building a contraption to get rid of the sheer elevation on this. I want it flattened down a bit, guys and girls. And I think we're going to have to do a digger that can do that for us. Yes, sirree. Well, my friends, that does bring us to the end of an episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too short for you. But I do want to keep you in the loop of what's going on. And if I'm doing things off camera, I'm going to need wood. And that meant a wood farm. And unless you didn't want to see it being built, then there wouldn't have been a video. Do apologise. If you have liked it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.